Hello everyone, my name is Jamali Sundra and today I'm going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today my subject will be like uh, melting snow. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see there are the five limited colors, the brushes that we're going to need and all the things that we're going to need to paint this painting. Okay, I'm going to start now. And first, I'm going to do a little sketching. So, I'll just do the sketching for my guide. So, I have here the row umber and uh, number two nylon flat brush. It's a small flat brush, everyone. And the white. So, I'm going to create uh, something like... Ah, And then I will put also a huge mountain. I will put some trees here, something like that. Some pine trees. There. Okay. And then also here. Maybe a near mountain here, just a small near mountain, and then I will put here one huge mountain. Like a mountain range. So here, I will, I'm not sure if I'm going to put one tree here, but I will try to think it later on if I'm going to need to put or nothing at all. Okay, so yeah, we have now the sketch and I will proceed on the underpainting or painting the clouds or painting the sky. So the sky will nothing be special. It will be just normal afternoon sky. We always paint the afternoon. Yeah. So here I have blue and white to make it a sky blue. I really like this color everyone. So that's why I like to use the the tallow blue. It's good to, to use it for the sky. I put some uh, red and then white. So it's okay we cover the uh, the under or uh, the sketch is fine because uh, we can uh, we have to just we just have to think or uh, we uh, we already know where we're gonna put those uh, mountain so it's fine one. I'm gonna put more white. I'm gonna make it more bluish. I want it to be a clear view, clear blue sky. There. Okay, and then I will try to paint the mountains. So I have here the blue and the red. more red and then white so we can create a little uh, details or curves or triangles I'm gonna put more red I think There. 
ano, but I really like those uh, creating beautiful mountains everyone We can add a little white here to blend on the bottom part uh, so that we can create also a misty uh, misty uh, bottom of the mountain okay and then I will try to create darker so here I have a darker purple so this will be some trees everyone or forest uh, filled with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, what you call this uh, pine trees so you just have to drag it up so that you can create the texture that it will look like pine trees there there okay yeah so we have now uh, I think the forest uh, of pine trees okay so next I'm going to mix for a darker purple just blue and the red maybe a little warmer there and this time we need to create the beautiful pine trees there so I think we can also create beautiful pine trees using this brush I'll we can retest that later on. We'll put a little umber. just we touch that later on as long as we have the underpainting it will be good it will be fine no, not just there also here I need to put some more blue on the red it will be not so much dark everyone add a little white so it should be just a little darker than the than the uh, farther forest and then you can do like that you can create beautiful pine trees
Just use the tapping technique and you can create these beautiful pine trees. There, okay. I do not know where I'm gonna put my lights, everyone. I'm thinking to be left or right. So it will be challenge, a challenge for me. Okay, now I'm gonna use this rule umber to fill everything here on the ground. I'm using the raw umber from from Liquid X Basics. Everyone, it's a opaque version. It's good. I think this is better than other raw umber I used before. I have here the blue and the yellow, a little red and yellow. I think I'm gonna put my uh, my my lights on the left side. Yeah, I think I think it will be challenging and good. So tapping technique. Just uh, watch and observe my other uh, the position my brush. little yellow there I like how I put the raw umber everyone because it can create an earthly colors it can also create an impression that you can see the the soil or the bottom part so it's good like that I want also to, to see some greenish okay underpainting is uh, done yeah and also I think the paint is really dry now and yeah I think I'm I'm going to put now the the I think the the highlights. Okay, <laughs> yeah, sorry, bro. <laughs> I forget. I think uh, I am loading. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna put now the highlights. Yeah, it's uh, looking good. I'm gonna put some highlights there. And because uh, the mountains is already dry, and yeah, I'll put now some highlights. So I will start with the mountains. Yeah, it's okay, we can cover this later on a little. Okay, so I will be using a medium sized flat brush. I will try to find my medium sized flat brush. So I have here the medium sized flat brush. Okay, maybe later everyone we can put some clouds I'm not sure because uh, I think the sky is still so clear so yeah maybe I'll, I'll, I'll put some clouds first just a uh, grayish clouds everyone so I'm using the lighter purple I want it to be on a clear day Just a very simple clouds. It's enough for this. There. I think it's just, just too easy.
Okay, yeah, I think that will be enough. Okay, I will proceed on the mountains. So I'm gonna try to use this light purple first. So my light's coming from the left side because I want this to really have good lights here striking on this part. Really have good lights here. Yeah, maybe the sun will be on this part here. Okay. So yeah, maybe I'll try to expose some here and also here. curves this one is a uh, color is a little gray as yes, or purple light purple there Okay, if we cover some parts there, it's fine. And then I'll try to use this much more bluish. And you can fit it in the bottom part, something like that. There, okay. And then I will try to use this uh, little lighter blue color to put it in the, on the back part. Yeah. So I'm going to put more white. There. And then I'm going to use a pure white now everyone. So this uh this is the snow. There. Okay. 
Okay, we we'll put like that. A lot of whites. Some parts will be covered by the by the shade of everyone, that's why uh, there's no lights there. Okay. There. And then I'll try to put this light blue. As the, uh, this is the snow in the dark part. Okay. I'm gonna put also here. Some light plus everyone so we can see that there's also snow here. And then I will try also to put some uh, reddish purple, something like that. This part will be uh, some rocks also, some some colors of the rocks. Now we have a beautiful snowy mountains so it looks good everyone it looks uh, pretty realistic it looks simple and looks realistic it looks like that it's made of rocks also so yeah yeah so yeah I think it will be like that and I will proceed to the bottom part I really like those mountains everyone because it looks really realistic okay so I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna retouch the I'm going to retouch this uh, this uh, pine trees on the left side so I'll be using uh, this brush uh, the medium size brush again so I'll mix again for the dark blue and the red
there. There. So I'm gonna do it a little slowly. Okay, I think I think that will be enough. I will try to put a little lighter uh, like this everyone. I'm gonna put a little lighter uh, trunk. So here I will just use the shoe umber and white. Just the trunk, everyone. And then, using this again, everyone, I'm gonna put some trees there. I'm gonna put some, some I think, uh, uh, tree leaves. So blue and the yellow. I'm gonna put a little red. More blue. try to put a little white everyone Okay, so you need it in the group, everyone. Do not uh, make it uh, too close. And I'm using uh, not so much light colors because uh, this is the, uh, this part should be dark. So 
So again, tapping technique. Okay, so yeah, those are looking good. Uh, uh, to call this uh, pine trees uh, forest. So yeah, then it will be fine. Should not make it too light, everyone, because that part should be dark. Okay, so I think yeah, it will be fine for me. It will be good. And here I will try to put some. Uh, highlight so yeah just making use this one I'm gonna put a little white lighter so just a little everyone you can create just uh, make uh, make your brush a little slant or uh, upward something like that to create the highlights of the pine trees there so I think that's as a little here there and also here we should also put but I think I will use a smaller brush now uh, this brush the number two nano flat brush is smallest brush I have so I'm gonna put more yellow and the uh, blue and red You can put it on the left side, everyone. Okay, and now I will be using again uh, the blue or the the uh, something like a greenish color on the other side. This part uh, it will not hit. Some part will not hit by the light, so I will be using these colors.
Ito sa hair. Okay. There. I'm gonna uh, put again some highlights, but I think I'm, I'm gonna make it lighter. Okay, I think that will be good. Uh, good uh, pine trees, everyone. And also here, I need to put something also, some lights. But I will not put uh, all of uh, all here. I'll just put on the top part and on the left side. That will be. Not everything will be hit by the light. Always remember that also. there okay yeah it will be enough okay so yeah it looks good okay this time i'm going to put the highlights of this uh of this field so i want to put i think uh, i'll try to put a pathway there just a small pathway and yeah some small highlights and it will be good and perfect I'll be using my bristle flat brush. I have here and by eight. You can also use bigger or smaller than this. Okay, so this is good for the highlights. I have here yellow with a little red. And then white. there and then I'll try this uh, orange also there and then I will put some orange also yeah maybe here orange grasses or yeah whatever we can find here So here it will be 
a grassy field everyone there okay So I'm gonna put a lot of grasses. There. Okay, I'm gonna put also some light greens. Also put some. You can also use the topping technique, everyone, to create uh, other type of grasses. And also here, you can put a lot of grasses or bushes. And here I will put another light here, everyone, but later on. Uh, yeah, maybe I will, I will put a pathway, so it will be good if I'm going to put a pathway there. But it's not my plan, but I think I'll just try and it will be good. Just uh, raw umber and white. there so you can even just as this simple stroke and you can create this beautiful uh, pathway to make it a little lighter here there okay and also I will, I will put some rocks there yeah or whatever that will make it much more beautiful okay so this painting will be, will be a very very simple painting for everyone so they can also learn uh, the basic way but realistic so even you can see you can find this painting just basic you can also learn how to paint realistic so, yeah I like it I don't even know if I'm going to put the tree there on the left on the right side but I think I will not because this painting is enough for this uh, to create a wonderful landscape okay so I'll just put some some trees or something I don't know I mean some rocks so maybe I'll just put this for umber some rocks in the mountain there
and then I'll try to use this I, I think I have no white okay so here there and put some also rocks there so yeah it looks like rocks there and then I'm going to put some more highlights here I think uh, some lights hitting in this part so I have here yellow and a little uh, orange or red And then this light green with the white. there okay more yellow yeah so just tapping technique everyone put it uh, on the top of the dark color there okay and then this one also there 
there okay so we have no lights here and also here and it looks good okay i will put some highlights on the on the rocks so we have here white with a little orange yeah There. okay yeah i'll try to let you see everything uh, everyone i'll try to zoom out yeah uh, i think uh, for, I, I forgot uh the snows the melting snow. i'm not sure I'm going, to, I'm going to put it everyone uh, yeah i'm going to put it to just add a beauty on this but uh, i am good with this one i don't know everyone but i am really good with this one yeah, maybe I'll just try to put uh, the white snows. I want also to put, uh, put some melting snow. I, 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 I never experienced, I never tried this one before. So here I have blue and the white with a little red that's too much not little i'm going to put more blue and then white okay so here there just a little we're not everything everyone uh, I never seen uh, snow in my entire life in real <laughs> so I don't really know the look of a real snow how it feels
सकते हैं So here I'll try to put more. Okay. I'll try not to put some lights. It's my very important. Uh, excited with this part. There. Just pure white, everyone. Just use a pure white. what do you think I'll try to see yeah it looks good everyone it looks it looks now much more realistic I really love it yeah it's so fulfilling and it looks real it looks even real yeah it looks so good yeah I will not put now I I now uh, I will now uh, decide that I will not put a tree here so maybe to just distract the view so for now I am very very content with this one I will just put more lights good amount of lights it's very important so I'll let you see first everything okay so I will just retouch everyone using a pure white I'll put a pure white there yeah, and also on the mountains everyone uh, let's put the pure white
okay there you go i think i am done everyone and the view is just very simple and yet uh it's very it, it's stunning and it, it's different than uh the the landscape that i did before so i'm very very contented contented and pleased with the entire result looks good the snow the melting snow uh the snow mountain looks realistic uh, the pine trees the grasses looks good the rocks looks good also so yeah i think i am done and i think i just finished it for i think just one hour seven minutes seven minutes and it looks good it's very very fast and looks good okay everyone so i want to say thank you for watching this video um i hope you get something out of this you learn you uh, how to paint uh, this landscape so this is free you can paint it you can you can copy it and you can you can also share it to anyone so okay everyone so i want to say thank you for watching this video today and i hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors in palette because i want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like and some comments subscribe for more videos in the future okay once again thank you have a nice day and god be sure all the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.